everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. And I took the time to do a presentation that I'm gonna go over here this evening uh, because I often have a lot of questions about the newsletter, what kind of trades are on it, uh, what kind of money do you need to risk, how many trades do you call, things like that. So this is the entire week's results from last week, May 10th, of the Gap Options newsletter. If you're in the newsletter, the trades are emailed to you. So an advanced trader result was 108,050, beginner trader result 10,225. And again, I'm gonna go through all the trades. Win ratio was 94%, and average return on investment, 90%. So let's go through, and I even put the charts in for all of the trades as well this week. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So one of the things before I get started I wanna discuss is that if you have a good system, which I do, so I have a system I follow, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a Golden Gap rating system. I devised it myself 12 years ago, and that's all that I do. However, even if you have a good system, you also need a positive attitude. If you have a negative attitude, you're gonna to struggle to achieve success. So a positive attitude really, really, really helps you a lot. Even if you have a great system, if you have a bad attitude, you're gonna end up making mistakes. Inevitably, some trades lose and you have to have what I call amnesia, where you get right over it, get back on the horse and start trading again with a positive attitude instead of thinking about the trade that you lost in. So really a positive attitude, particularly, particularly with trading, uh, really, really does help you a lot. And of course, when you trade, you're risking money. So you have to have an optimistic attitude about it that you're gonna be successful. So whether you wanna trade full-time or part-time, it is totally up to you. I have people with me that are doing both. Depends what works for your schedule and it really depends what your goals are. Some people trade two days a week, some trade five days a week, some people only do options, some people do day trades and options. Again, it's whatever works for your schedule. I think a lot of people's schedules are very different still even in 2021 than they used to be two, three years ago. And But hopefully people are starting to a little bit get back to some kind of normalcy in their lives. So now how do I make the options picks? Again, I rate the gap in the morning on the newsletter. Okay, I, I do the rating. The newsletter is a subscription service. You're not gonna learn my system by being a member of the letter. So I rate the picks in the morning, make the picks, send it out, but it's all based on momentum in stocks, okay? And specifically in reference to options, momentum is key because if it could go in your right direction, but if you don't have enough momentum in it, you could lose time value and then the trade could end up losing, even if you got it uh, in the right direction, but if it didn't go fast enough or big enough or what I call momentum. So really you need momentum to happen in the picks. Uh, that is one of the ways to make money doing options. It's not like trend trading, like swing trading, although you do have to get the direction right, okay? So the week of May 10th, there were 17 trades, 16 winners, one loser, win ratio was 94%. Average trader of advanced risk, okay? And again, you can risk more than this, you can risk less, 7,500. Advanced trader total for the week of May 10th results 108,050, and average return investment 90%. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, this was a, a good week. Have I had bigger weeks? Yes, yes I have. Um, it really depends on how many trades we get, how many I call. Uh, 17 trades in one week is a lot uh, to, to, to manage going on. Some weeks it's less. If it's a busier week, it might be more. Okay, so that's an average. And again, some, sometimes we have uh, trades that don't work and then the win ratio is less. But on average, it's a pretty good newsletter on calendar year by year. And that's one of the reasons why I have the subscription as an annual subscription, because you have to look at it in a long range plan that you're committed to doing it for a year so that you can see the results and see the money. And, and obviously last week was, was a good week. And we're getting into the tail end of earnings season. So it'll be interesting because to have these kinds of trades when it's really the end of earnings season, makes me think we're gonna have a very volatile and busy summer. So if you were a beginner trader though, there were two trades you could not take of the 17. So there you would have had 14 winners and one loser. And the reason is because of the risk parameters. So you wouldn't be able to take two of the trades. And again, I'm gonna go over them here because you have to stick to your risk. On average, a beginner trader risk I have in here for $1,000. Again, you could risk less than that. It's whatever works for you. But 
if the trade, for example, if one contract does something cost $21, that'll be 2,100 bucks. And if your average risk is a thousand, you can't do that trade, okay? So you have to stick to your risk to similar or equal. Again, win ratio 94%, average return investment 90%. You just couldn't have done two of the trades, okay? Oh, and then beginner trader total, this is just with the one loser, the 14 winners, 10,225. And that's an average risk of a thousand. And again, we'll go over that here too. You don't, this is the, the average risk is not hard and fast. It's just how much cash you have in your account, how much experience you have, and then also uh, it's, it's not exact. For example, say one contract costs $8. You can't get two, that's 1,600, so you buy one at 800. So it's as close as you can get to the amount, okay? So anyways, weekend May 10th, advanced trader risk again was 7,500, beginner was 1,000. So this was the Walmart calls. And I really called this out just probably too far in advance because this ended up going and I was up in this and I didn't get out of Villa Profit. But you know, here's the chart. I called this and I'll show you the letter in a minute, 415. So I called this here in a nice gap up. I thought this would break out higher, I was right. In fact, it even went higher on the earnings, almost went up to 145, which was this past week, but the trade had expired um, on the 14th, so it is what it is. I mean, I, I really usually call them within a week or two. This was something unusual. I'm not sure why I gave this so much time. I almost wish I would, would have given it either more time or less, but it did break out. It did have a move, and the trade was up here, but I held it, and I, I just didn't think it was up enough to get out. But some people did get out of this with profit, but I want to show you this anyways because this was part of last week's results. This was a loser for me. But really, to be honest with you, it was a winner at one point. It just was never up enough as far as return and investment, okay, in my opinion. But that's, you know, that was a personal call. Some people got out of it with money. Strike in the letter, you get the symbol, strike 140, expiration 514. And again, it's a call. So cost was 240, contracts 30, risk 7200. Again, this is an advanced risk. And again, you get it as close as you can to what you're risking. Got out of it with something, but really pretty much was a total loser, 6,600 loss, okay? This is an advanced trader risk. Now, if you're a beginner, again, you would have risked, you would have taken four contracts for 916, close enough to the 1,000, and lost, okay? So that was the loser last week, all right? So let's go over the next one here, Netflix. So I called this one, Five four. Let's find it. Here. Five four. Got the drop. Boom. This was the five hundred puts expiring again. Five eleven. Or five fourteen. I'm sorry. Exit was five eleven. So let's find five eleven. This was the day it gap down. So here close to your gap down. Fell. Gap down. Boom. You see where this is. Take it to the right. Again, it was the 500 strike, and look where it went. It broke 480 by a little bit. And this was still early enough to get out because it expired on the 14th, okay? So the Netflix 500 puts, I called this on May 4th. These weren't cheap, but for Netflix, it's pretty much around the range. Cost was $8, 10 contracts, risk 8,000, sold at 20, $12,000 profit. This was a really nice trade, why? Return on investment was 150%. You had to wait a little bit for this. I'm gonna go back here. Some trades I call go immediately. And this did, this went in the right direction, okay? This went in the right direction immediately. But as far as, again, getting the nice return on investment, what I call momentum, this didn't really have the drop. I wanted more of a drop. Here was the drop in here, boom, gap down, out. And you could have actually even got out of it close to the end of the day here, to be honest with you. This was beautiful even as well. This, this closed at uh, 480 and change something, 488 or I don't know what it was. This was a good one, no matter where you get out. But everyone loves it when I call them and they go right away. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But I got the direction right in this and it worked and it was good. And I got the direction right in Walmart too. Unfortunately, like I said, that just, um, I think I paid too much up for that for out of, Far ahead. So here was the Netflix cost was eight. Again, one if you're a beginner. That's okay. One is good. 
That's 100 shares, basically, is how you look at it. Risk was 800, sold at 20, profit $1,200. That's 150% profit with an $800 investment. That's great, that's fabulous. I mean, most beginner traders would be happy to have one trade like that a week. Seriously. I mean, most people are losing that are trading. And to even be able to make $1,000 a week or $1,200 a week or $1,500 a week is a gift. Okay, let's look at the next one here, Tesla. So I call this one 542. Up here, here we go. And again, got the drop. Closed here, gap down, boom, got the drop. Call the 650 puts. Take it here, over. So here's where it fell off a cliff and then came down here. So this was that same day that Netflix, remember all these one here on the 10th, and then they all gapped down here on the 11th with the market. So that was, it was a really nice read. The market would sell off, which it did, and pretty much everything worked. And again, you could have got out here or you could have got out the next morning here in the gap down, which was great because it was right at that 600 point and again, it was the 650 puts and you still had you still had time for this to even go in here into the last day. Okay. But this was actually a nice exit. But look where it went actually. Now this was, yeah, this expired the 14th. Oh, that's crazy. Just realizing this here now, I didn't go back and look at this. So actually this ended up going that is insane. This ended up going almost 100 points for the number on the day before the Thursday. So this was the 650 Tessas, okay? Advanced risk was 8,400 for contracts, cost 21. Again, sold at 50, profit 11,600, return on investment 138%. But now that I see where that went actually later in the week, this would have been worth the value and this would have been well over 100, which is really, really, really insane. I'm so good at reading where things are gonna go. But you know, this is momentum, like, and this is momentum too in here. So again, I'm calling a lot of trades. When you're up a good amount like this, over 100%, you gotta get out. I mean, it's just, but if you were a beginner, you couldn't have done it, why? Because of the cost. So you would have had to skip it, you know, unless you would have say, okay, I'm willing to risk 2,000 a trade. You could have taken one, but whatever risk amount you decide on, you really do have to be strict with it. So this was one, if you were a beginner, you didn't do the Tessas, okay? That's okay, these other ones worked. So 495 puts, again, called on five, six, This one reversed before it dropped and broke and fell down and gapped down this day here. So again, 495s, so this was a little bit cheaper. Again, called it in Thursday the 6th. Oh, actually this wasn't cheaper. I was thinking about the, the other ones, the 490s. Cost was nine, number of contracts eight, risk is 7,200, sold at 15, profit 4,800, return on investment 67%. Again, some trades will go to 100, some will go more, some will go 50. You have to see what's happening with the targets, and I give the targets in the letter to you. You can't ignore, okay, I'm going to go back to this here, when something's hit the target or through the target and also reverses with the market, which is exactly what happened here on this day, and you only have pretty much like two days left if you don't count Friday. Be aware of time with your trading with options too. But again, I put the support and the resistance, um, targets in the letter, and sometimes I even do video links which, where I do discussions. Now, if you were a beginner, you could have done one. Okay, fine. Risk 900, sold at 15, made 600 bucks. That's a good trade. Return on investment, 67%. This was the other one I was talking about, the 490s. Sometimes I stack them. So I call this one 562. And I stack them if I see they're gonna continue, drop to a bigger number, a bigger target, or go to the number. So again, same day here called the 490s. Rallied, gapped up, gapped down, fell, gapped down, boom. Again, exit the 11th. This is the 490s. I called them a little bit later on the 6th. The trades again are emailed you in live time. Cost 690, 10 contracts, risk 6900, 
sold at 10, profit 3,100, return on investment 45%. That was pretty good. And really when I, when I stack them, if I do two or three or four in one thing, then I consider it all one lump. You know, so I'm okay with 50% or something like that when I'm doing a couple. Because again, you have this one, and then you had this one, and then the other one. You had the 500, 495s, and 490s if you did them all. Now, if you're a beginner, you could have done one, risk 690, sold at 10, profit $310. Beautiful. Again, return on investment 45%. Nice trade, took a couple days, but went. This was another good one here. BYND, do the 105 puts. Called on 5.7, closed your gap down in earnings, rallied, called this early, went the next day and the following day, boom. Again, take it to the right, you can see where it went. It came down here to 100, this was the 105 puts, it was a nice trade. But I called them on the Friday and it rallied and the trade was down, down into the following week. Again, sometimes you have to give them a little cushion, you have to give them a little time. And that's why you can't risk more than you can afford to lose. You gotta be a little patient. You can't worry about them every second. Cost 220, number of contracts 35, risk is 7,700, sold at four. $6,300 profit, 82% return on investment. This was a nice one too. Again, on that particular morning of 511, I think it was the Tuesday, the whole market, everything gapped down. So we were ready in trades, ready in puts. So I called the market direction right. I knew we were gonna follow through lower and then we gapped down. That's that's a beautiful thing when it happens and you get that gap into the move, whether it's a gap up or a gap down. Same thing could happen at Walmart in a bigger move, it just didn't. So anyways, the beginner risk, five contracts, cost 220, risk 1100, sold at four, profit 900, return on investment 82%. So again, a nice trade. I'm okay if people risk a little bit of over, a little bit under. So this is this is within the parameters, 1100 of your risk of 1000. I'm, I'm just like, I'm saying don't risk double, you know, like as far as the, the Tesla, if you'd risk 2100, that would have been double. And that, that becomes problematic then, or even triple or quadruple. Then we did the BYND 110s, and the reason I called them is because I saw what it was doing and I figured, well, we'll get it on the way down. So then I called the 110s uh, Friday a little bit, well, it was still early still early in the morning when it rallied, called the 110s, again, two in the same uh, ticker symbol, rated the gap, gap rated good, knew it was gonna break, it did, just took a little bit of time, cost was $2, 40 contracts, risk was 8,000, sold at eight, profit 24,000. This was a really nice trade. This was actually a, a larger return in investment than the initial 105s. Again, the thing with with options is volatility. So I called this as it was rallying. So in fact, I think I called them one of their ones pre-market. Yeah, I did. So I called these pre-market. Then as it was rallying, I still knew it was gonna fall. So then I called the higher strikes. And one of the reasons why this ended up being so profitable, again, 300% return on investment is one, the move off the strike to the timing of it, to get it into the rally when the momentum was going against it, but I was predicting it was gonna continue down, which I was right. And again, I'm, I'm able to do this by rating the gap. I saw it was a good gap that rated per my 26 point rating system. It rated 20 points or more, so I knew it was gonna fall. It was just a matter of time. Again, everyone loves it when they fall the same day. I do, but sometimes it takes a little bit. So you could have made $3,000 risking $1,000 as a beginner. Five contracts, cost was two bucks. This was cheap. And we have done these before when they have not been cheap. So, you know, it's neither here nor there. You just, you never know. Then we did the Qs. Again, these were all puts, except for Walmart. And it's ironic because that's the one that lost. Uh, 318s called on the 11th. So this closed here, gap down. Again, this pushed back and was negative. Trade was down to the next morning, gap down, fell, boom, dropped. You can take it to the right, see where it went, around 315. So I called this on the Tuesday, but again, it didn't go that day immediately. Yeah, this was Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so it was a QQQ, 318, expired on the 14th, it was a put, 
Cost was 250, 30 contracts, risk was 7,500, sold at 425. Profit was $5,250, return investment 70%. That again is a nice trade. Again, when you're calling something on a Tuesday and it expires on the Friday, you're looking for momentum, you take it, you get out whenever you get the momentum. If you had taken a beginner risk, four contracts, risk was 1,000, sold at 425, profit 700, return on investment 70%. Again, that is a good trade. And again, if you're a beginner, you could have taken all these this week. Apple 120 puts, this didn't go as big as expected, and I was aware I had to get out, but anyways, it did work. I probably should have called this one a little bit earlier, actually. So anyways, here was the close here, gap down, fell. This was the day of the 11th, backed up, gap down, fell, with everything else. So I call this on Tuesday, again, 120 puts, 514. These were dirt cheap, 60 cents. 120 contracts cost 7,200, sold it at 70. And again, profit was 1,200. This was a 16% return on investment. I expected more about this. This didn't want to break enough, but I knew I, that that was it. Again, the exit was with the market and the gap down and everything else, and we were up. So when it didn't want to go anymore, you can't deny the fact that it pretty much met the target and that's it, you got to get out. So if you're a beginner, you could have made $180. Still cash, still money. And I usually look at these if I do a group. Say I do five trades, six trades, 10 trades, all with the market. You know, I look at that as just, you, you have to go with the market, watch what the market is doing to exit your trades. Microsoft, 242.50 puts again, another one with the market. You saw the market was gonna drop, it was right. Here's 511, called it here. Gap down the next day, it was right, fell. This was a nice trade, take it to the right, 237.50. You can see how nicely this fell through the strike. Called this in the pre, well, not right into the open on Tuesday. Again, expired the Friday. Cost was 220, 40 contracts, risk was 8,800, sold at 460, profit 9,600, return on investment 109%. It's exactly what you wanted in the trade, but you took it on the Tuesday and exited on a Wednesday. Then if you were a beginner, five contracts, contracts cost you 220, risk was 1,100, sold at 460, profit 1,200, return on investment 109%. Again, nobody said you had to risk a big amount. And I really think it's important for people to risk a small amount, especially if they're new, or if they haven't done the Golden Gap course and they're just getting used to it. And now I'm calling the trades. But that's why I'm reviewing beginner risk and intermediate uh, and advanced risk here. And I, I'm probably going to do more of this because I want people to understand that if you know what you're doing, you can make money, even if you have a small account. I don't know why everybody gets in their head they have to big, have a big account. I know everybody wants to, but the reality is if you don't have a big account, you don't. And if you don't, you can't take an advanced risk. So you have to build it up. You have to have goals. Everybody has goals. I have goals. Okay. There's nothing to be ashamed about for taking a, a beginner risk. 225 puts I called, 511 here. Then it opened, dropped, boom. Again, the 225s, take it to the right. 220, that's where it dropped into. Again, exit here into the sell off on the 12th, which was the Wednesday. So this was BA. I expected more from this as well. Uh, cost was 375, which wasn't cheap. Sold at 480, profit 2100. Again, it fell, but not as much as I thought that it was going to when I called it. Same thing with Apple. Return on investment 28%. In fact, I'm gonna go over here and just show you. This, this looks like, I mean, this was a profitable trade, but this was really not a big bar for the stock. Actually, you can see the big bars over here. This is a big bar. That's a big bar. That's a big bar. Like I expected more of this. What was the problem with this? I don't know, it broke late. I don't know, it was stubborn. You, you for, with momentum, it's preferable if it comes in quick and fast and as soon as possible. That's why many of the things I'm doing are pretty much into the open. And I'm, I'm doing all the pre-work in the morning in the pre-market. That's how I'm able to take them into the open. Cost uh, 375, number of contracts three, risk 1,125, again, close enough. Sold at 480, profit $315, return on investment 28%. So that added dear winnings for the week. Then we, of course, we did the SPY puts, called on the 11th too. Predicted we fall, gap down the next day, fell off a cliff. Went to the dream target, 405. And again, you know, plenty of time with this because it was before the end of the week. 
Strike was 410. And it was that Friday. Cost of these was really pretty good. This is, again, I called the 410s. 280 was the cost. Number of contracts, 30. Risk 8400, sold at 530. Profit 7500. Return on investment, 89%. That's a good trade. You're, you're basically in and out within 24, 48 hours. If you were a beginner, 280, number of contracts, 4. Risk 1120. Sold at 530. Profit 1000. Return on investment, 89% good trade then we did the Google okay 2280 these are never cheap okay so this was on the 11th gap down fell okay so you can see the two 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 eighty the gap down through it so you took it here and then you got up in the morning it was almost at 2250 so you know you're up a lot so this was nice. Again, I call this a little bit later in the Tuesday, 11 o'clock. Cost was $15, number of contracts, five. Risk 7,500, sold at 40, profit $12,500. Return on investment, 167%. One of the things I like about Google is it moves big and Amazon, Tesla, all of those high flyers. I mean, they really, really can move. And you can see the gap down here was, you know, pretty decent. I mean, from where it closed up here was around 20, 2310, you know, it opened, like I said, close to 2250. You know, that's, that's a nice one there. That's why it was so profitable. Now, if you're a beginner, you could have done it. Why? Cost was $1,500 for one. So you have to be strict with yourself when you choose your risk. Don't fudge it. Because what if you have one positive trade and one losing trade? Well, if you risk less on the positive trade, and the losing trade, you risk more, you could be upside down with just two trades. You don't want that to happen. Then I called the 408 puts for, I called them on the 12th. And I actually called this as it was running. And then I went to the dream target on the day and you just get in get out. Now, again, people do love it when I call them and they go the same day, this was the case. Called it early enough in the morning, fell all day, 1013. Again, the 408s, 521 expired. When I call something an expiration date, it doesn't mean you're holding it to the expiration date. Unless you're down in it, it never was profitable. But if I call a trade, you want to take it and you want to get out when it's up. If it's on the same day, fine. If it's the next day, fine. You know, just because something expires two weeks from now doesn't mean you're holding it. So you're playing the momentum. When you get it, you get in, you get out. So cost was 425, number of contracts 20, risk 8,500, sold at seven, profit 5,500, return on investment 65%. This was take it the same day and get the move. And it was a nice move. I mean, it went all the way down to 405. If you were a beginner, again, cost 425, number of contracts two, risk 8,850, sold at seven, profit 550, return on investment 65%. Nice trade. We also did the 240 Microsoft puts. Then when I saw this, so then we have the other ones that fell into it. Then I called the 240s, which dropped. Beautiful, again, this was on the same day too. Uh, and again, this expired the 21st. I could have called these off of the 14th. <clears throat> Actually, that's a little bit tight, but I could have. Anyways, they would have been cheaper and they would have been bigger return on investments. Cost was 380, number of contracts 20, risk 7,600, sold 550, profit 3,400, return on investment 45%. You are a beginner, three contracts, cost 380, risk 1140, sold 550, profit 510, return on investment 45%. Again, risk 1140, make 5 or $10, it's a good trade. Then I did call the 405 puts, that's right, I forgot. I saw it was going to go there. Crazy. Right in here. And I called these early enough. It was 10.51. Again, market doesn't close till 4. Once the momentum gets into something, boom. But I did give the cushion here to the 21st. These cost $4. Number of contracts, 20 for an advanced risk. Risk 8,000. Sold at 6. Profit 4,000. Return on investment, 50%. Called on the same day. Ended the same day with the momentum. If you're a beginner, Two contracts cost 800, sold at six, profit $400, return on investment 50%. Then I called the, the diamonds, which I called this late, I should have called this earlier. The 338 puts, 
again, called in the 12th, fell in the 12th, knew it went to the target, had to get out, but I really should have called this earlier. It was 148 in the afternoon. This was just a, a, just a sell off into the close. 460 was the cost, number of contracts 15, risk 6,900, sold at 580, profit 1,800. So like if I had called this at, at 930, it was just so much going on and so many other things going on, it would have, <clears throat> it would have been cheaper if I called the same strike or I might've called a higher strike. And <clears throat> it, would have been a, it would have been a bigger return on investment. So this was late. Oops, there, quarter of two. But it fell all the way down. So you can't ignore when stuff goes to the target, which it did. Two contracts cost 460, risk 920, uh, 920, profit 240, return investment 26%. So anyways, those were all the trades from the week of May 10. For, you know, whether you're an advanced trader or beginner trader, you can do all of this yourself from home, but you have to know how to do it. Luckily, I do know how to do it. I spent three years of my life, you know, figuring out my own system. And now I offer this newsletter if you want to sign up and you want to subscribe. Now, if you want to learn from me, you would take the class, the Golden Gap course. If you just want to get the newsletter, it, it looks like what you just saw. That said, you get the trades email to you. You don't learn the system, but you can just sign up for the letter. So just reviewing again, 17, 16 winners, one loser the week of May 10. And again, 108,050 which ends up being a 94% win ratio and average return investment 90%. So you determine how much you wanna risk based on the size of your account. Knowing that I'm calling a lot of trades, you may want to risk less because again, you have to have the money to take the trades and not all the trades go the same day. Do you follow what I'm saying? So if you wanna be able to take them all, you have to be aware of that. Now again, I don't necessarily call, you know, 15, 20 or whatever trades a week. But it's a pretty active letter, I will say this. I mean, you definitely get your money's worth, you know, I'm calling a lot of trades, but they don't all go all the same day. So you can't, you know, the money that you have, when you've got a trade on, it's being used up when the trade is on. Do you know what I'm saying? Until you exit it, but you can't exit it until it moves. But if you're a beginner, you could not take two of the trades due to the risk parameters. But if you could take all the trades, which was 15, 10,225. Very nice week for pretty much everybody. So how much money do you need to trade? If you wanna open up an options account, you have to talk to a broker. I'm not a broker, there's tons out there. Most of the minimums is 2,000 for an options account, okay? So you can set it up as a cash account or a margin account, talk to the broker about that too. We're just doing straight, you buy the collar, you buy the put, and then when you exit it, you sell the collar, you sell the put. Simple. Not doing any complicated option strategies because I'm using my Golden Gap system to make the picks, and it's based on the gap and momentum, okay? I will say that having a mentor to follow is really invaluable because a lot of people are out there trading the market willy-nilly, they don't have a clue. They don't have anyone to call or talk to or email or talk to every day in a trading room. I offer all of that to my people. I've even done Skype sessions with people to help them. Bottom line is, you know, I am willing to help people. I do want to help people. If you want to come and invest the money to learn with me and take the class and, and do the subscriptions, I want people to be successful. Why wouldn't I, okay? So I do my best to help people. You've got to ask me if you have questions so I understand what it is you don't understand or what you do need help with. but. You know, just the basic assessment of this is we're doing momentum and options. That's what it is. But I'm making the picks based on my rating system. Now, I teach a half-day class on the Gap Options course. You're not going to learn the 26 points in this. This is only a half-day class, and it costs $2,500. You can go to my website, read about it. You'll receive one month free of the newsletter if you do the options course. I do not do this class every month, but that is the only way to get a smaller term than 12 months for the newsletter because I don't have quarterly or monthly uh, subscriptions. It's one year for the newsletter. Or again, you get one month free if you do the Gap Options course. You'll learn how I manage the trades, targets. We talk about the letter, but you're not gonna learn the rating system, okay? When we talk about options. What will you receive in the Gap Options newsletter subscription? The trades are emailed to you. I do video updates. Um, sometimes I do classes in the evening where we do reviews. So it, you know, you, you, again, it's a, it's an active letter. 
Um, and if you're busy and you miss a trade, then you don't do that trade. Okay, you should never chase anything. But usually the morning is the time that most of the trades are sent out. And again, you, you can take them then once the market opens. I do think it's important in this time and age, I mean, 2021 has been a very interesting year. It's halfway over, which is hard to believe, but you can empower yourself to earn your own income working for yourself. It really does empower you once you realize that you can do it. If you've never made or had a trade where you've made, you know, $17,000 or $24,000, if you never made that kind of money in the market, once you do, once you're able to risk that much to have these huge trades, or even even if you made $3,000 risking 1,000 at a 300% return of investment, until you do, you're not gonna know the feeling of what it is like to really, 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 really uh, feel your own personal self power to be able to control your own destiny where you are making the money yourself and you're in charge and you're not relying on someone else like an employer to determine your income or your salary or, or your lot in life, quite frankly, whether or not you get a raise. I know years ago, we're talking about inflation. Well, years ago, I mean, I remember when I worked for the bank, every year we'd have an annual review, I'd sit down with my boss and I'd get a three to 4% increase. Those, that does not exist anymore. It just doesn't exist anywhere in any industry. It doesn't happen anymore. So people used to get you know, annual raises for cost of inflation. That doesn't happen. So it's a different world. You have to learn how to make money on your own and trading is a nice way to do it because you can do it from home. But you have to learn how. Or again, you can sign up for the newsletter and get the trades emailed to you. The Golden Gap rating system is how I make the picks. It's about consistency. I go over the gap, I rate the gap again. I'm doing all this pre-work in the morning myself. Now, if you take the class, you will learn how to do it as well, which obviously will benefit you. Obviously, it will help you if you learn how to do it. I'm a big fan of more knowledge, uh, helps you to evolve and grow and accumulate more wealth. So there's no downside in learning. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, it's all about momentum. It's the gap and it's the momentum in the gap. And of course, having financial freedom, like I said earlier, is extremely important. And don't forget, spending money on yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like you're being selfish. Maybe you need to be a little selfish. Education is a gift to yourself. You want to better your life? You want to think about your future? You need a plan of action of how to get there. Spending money on yourself is totally fine. And look at it like an investment long term because you're learning how to do this for the rest of your life, not just for a weekend, not just for a week. Like when you go on vacation for a week and you spend money on a vacation. This is a long term investment in yourself that you're committed to doing it. I have a lot of students and people that have been with me actually for years. I've had the business now for 10 years. It's a long time. And even sometimes people can't trade or they, they something goes on in their life and they have to close their account. Very often, a lot of people come back. I mean, it's so interesting how people never forget me and they end up coming right back around at some point. So, you know, maybe the timing for you in 2021, particularly if you have time this year, you're working from home or you have the privacy in your office to do it, is to really sit down and take the time to learn. Learn the Golden Gap system, take the class, and do the trades. But I think it's important for people to get serious about trading. That's the only way for you to be successful. Being nonchalant about it or willy-nilly or a looky-loo, is you're never gonna make money that way. So, Let's talk about options again. What kind of account do you need? You need a cash account as an options account or you can set up a margin account as an options account. Talk to your broker. But you do not need margin to take the trade because you only pay the cost. If it costs a dollar, that's what you're paying times the number of contracts you're taking. And that's how it works. We usually are in the trades in the morning. Sometimes I call them later, but most of them are in the morning, okay? And then you can put a sell order after you're in the trade. If you don't want to watch it or if you don't want to watch the chart of the target, if you buy it at one, put a sell order at 150. It's a day order. If it hits, it'll get you out then with a 50% return on investment on the day. If you can't watch it, if you can watch it, then you watch the chart and you watch the targets. Okay. Again, which I have in the letter. But the nice thing about trading is you can do it from home. Very convenient. It's been very convenient, particularly for me living in New York with what has happened here the last year uh, that I did work from home already. So let's talk a little bit here. Why do people find day trading so hard? There are many, many reasons. However, one big one is a lack of focus and a lack of clarity. 
people are only second guessing themselves or all over the place. I talk about this a lot. Conviction is extremely important. It's conviction, it's knowledge, it's focus, it's all these things. I have a lot of these things. When I set a goal in my mind, I'm very focused on achieving it. And again, it could be related to trading or it could be something else in my own personal life. I'm a very, very goal oriented person and I kind of block everything out when I get to, when I'm like that. Like when I decided I wanted to trade and figure this out in the market, I pretty much just threw myself into it didn't go out, didn't date, didn't do fun things with friends. I saw my family, but that was pretty much it. I mean, I was like 24 seven, throw myself into it. Now, again, that's my personality. I'm not saying you have to do it, but I'm saying that type of focus really paid off for me. And when you spend money on a class like mine or a subscription like mine, it really can pay off if you throw yourself into it to learn it to do it. If you have conviction and you know what you're doing, it's gonna help you make money. And certainly if you, uh, are going to risk substantial amounts of money in the market, you really do need to know what you're doing and you need to have conviction and it's confidence. What gives you the confidence, the knowledge? So the nice things about options is returns can be incredible. You saw some of them are well over 100%. The one was 300% just in this past week. And it is nice when that happens. When you get the momentum overnight, which is the benefit of doing options, you get the bigger moves overnight. You can have those kinds of trades with a smaller risk. But this is not long-term investing, okay? This is active, in and out, in and out. You're still producing income, even though this may be a longer time frame than a day trade where you're in and out in minutes. This you're in and out in, in, in days or, or weeks. This is still not long-term investing, so don't get it confused. You're not, like, you know, buying something and holding it forever. You have a time set frame in an option that you have to be watching, and you just want to do it when you get the momentum. That's it. You take it, you get the momentum, you get out. That's it. And again, even though this is longer than a day trade, it's still shorter than anything and different than long-term investing. So don't get confused, all right? And if you have any questions about that, you can always email me as well or anything here today. Anyways, trading is a great job if you want to do it. You can do it anywhere in the world. You don't have to be in New York like me. And you need a computer. I think you need a calculator too. You need to set up a trading account. You need to sign up for my Golden Gap course and or the newsletter as well. Get organized, get in a good headspace and a clean office. Um, have a couple notebooks, okay? I'm very old fashioned, even to the point of even, you know, printing charts out at different times when I was teaching myself. And even now, sometimes I do it. If I wanna go back and look at something like the market and say, what did I see there? What did I miss there? Or, Let me figure this out, okay? So get a good workspace. If you want to support yourself trading, you can, but you have to learn how to do it. It's a question of what are you willing to do to get there? How much time and money are you willing to invest? A lot of people want to train. A lot of people want to make a lot of money. And a lot of people are going to quit or never, ever make it. If you want guarantees, I'll give you a guarantee. If you quit, you definitely will not make it. So guess what? Don't quit. I always tell people to come to me. They're meant to find me because there's so many people out there in the world. A lot of them don't know what they're doing. But the fact is that if you come to find me, my system works, I'll teach it to you and I'll also help you along the way. Remember, this is an independent activity. You're the one that's deciding what to do really because you're pressing the buttons in the trains, you and only you. So I'm here to teach you and say, this worked because of this re reason or it didn't work because of this reason or whatever the question is, or here's the setup, here's the target. And I, along the way, you will substantially, hopefully over time, not only make money, but get better, okay? It does get easier as time goes on. It definitely, definitely does. It's a lot easier for me to trade now than it was, you know, 13 years ago. But you have to want it. You have to want it. Again, my classes and services cost money. There's time devoted for you. You have to block out the time in your life to trade, okay? There's a lot of people that will never do that. They will just be one of these forever. And those, of course, are the people that lose in the market. Those are the people that lost in the trades that we were in like BYND short when the stock rallied and then it fell the next day hard and we made money. So again, you've got to understand what's going on in the chart. It's very, very critical to, to have a full understanding of really price action, which is what I teach in the Golden Gap course too, in the points, buying and selling. And, and again, it's technical analysis, it's advanced technical analysis. Anyways, I do think it's important to understand what are your goals, why are you trading, you don't have to sit all day at the desk, like I said, certainly not if you're doing options. 
but I make the picks based on my rating system, which I teach at the Golden Gap course. It is a 26 point rating system. It measures gaps of rating them with a daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, big move in the day, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. Okay. So you got to chunk it out. I, I always tell people, look at this as a long-term venture. But sometimes people take the class and make the money back for the class in a week or in one trade. You can see here even in this week how profitable this week was that you could have done that. But I would look at it as a longer term goal because the goal should be learning how to do it, paying attention to what you're doing, making good choices in your trades and the risk so that you can continue and grow your account over time for the consistency and have the long term goals. You may achieve your goals far faster than you thought you ever could, or it may take you a little bit of time. Everybody is different, okay? You have to have your mind in the long-term goal, and but yet you've got to live in the present, and then that's how you move forward in the future. But don't get caught up in the past. Don't think about the past. You need to just drop it. And so many people carry all the losses and mistakes they've made in the past forward. You can't do that. You've got to move forward. You have to think of it, like I said earlier when I first started this lecture, but having a positive attitude that your life's going to get better and your trading is going to get better and that this is going to work for you. Okay, go into something with a positive attitude. So anyways, share size. If you have questions, you can always ask me. But how much you make is always a function of how much you risk and how much you know of the quality of the trade. Two people could take the exact same trade. One makes more. Why? They risk more. Okay. But again, it's the idea of the return on investment should be between 50 and 100%, even though some are more, and you wanna be consistent on your sizing, okay? And again, all of these are based on gaps. So my Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. I also have a bullish gap rating system. I do not teach the bullish cap class every month, but I do call uh, bullish gaps in this letter because I know how to do them too. But the bearish class is more popular. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when, and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stop. I always get the question as far as how many ones do we do, puts or calls. I don't know how many percentage of which I've done in a year's time because there's so many trades. Be too much work for me to go back and look at that. This past week, we did mostly puts. They worked. I predicted the market would fall. I did. One of the reasons I'm successful is I'm good at reading the market, although I don't get it right every time, but I get it right more than anybody else I've ever seen or known. And I've had people tell me that, that have been with me for a long time as well. And if you've been around me, if you've been in the room, if you watch my videos, if you've heard me on television say things that have happened, you know that too. In fact, I was on Ameritrade the week before last week when the market fell and I said we were going to fall. And I was on Fox News, I think it was Tuesday, May 11th, and I said the market was probably going to fall the next day and I was right. In fact, I have to find that clip. I want to listen to exactly what I said. So, you know, I'm not saying that everything goes with the market, but a lot of times things do go with the market. So you do have to watch what's happening with the market. And that is one of the reasons why people find trading tricky too. They can't read the market. They don't understand. It's confusing for them. And the market, by the way, gaps almost every single day. So if you learn my system, you learn how to rate the market. And what do I mean by the market? I mean the QQQs, the SPY, or the diamonds. Okay? So, again... One strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people have that and fail all the time. Learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps, and you don't need to do anything else. Because if your reason for doing this is to make money, this will make you money. And that is the name of the game. While trading is fun, I understand that. I agree with you. You know, but it's not fun to lose. It's only fun to win, okay? That, you have to have the goal in mind. You have to look at this as a business. You have to take it seriously. <clears throat> so you've got to have the morning time available to put the trades on. Some trades go quickly. Some take a while. You can work from home or your office. And if you want to do this part-time or full-time, that's up to you. It's really up to you. So I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. And if you want to sign up for the newsletter alone, there's no prerequisites. Again, the newsletters are emailed to you. Subscription price for one year is $69.99. Sign, as soon as you sign up, you'll start receiving the letters. The next Golden Gap course is June 12th and 13th. 
nine to five class tuition is $69.99, classes online, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. Then you'll learn how to do this yourself, okay, to rate the gaps yourself. The trends course is June 15th. If you want to sign up for both, you save. Class tuition is $74.99. It's a combo, okay? Email me at melissabestockswish.com if you want to register. And there's really nothing like winning. It makes you feel great. It gives you the confidence and conviction we were talking about. Helps you grow your account. and feels like you can achieve something in life. And then you have options and you're, you're on your own. You can continue to do your job and be successful and make money on the side, particularly if you love it. I suggest doing that. You know, a lot of people are looking for extra income right now in this time. That's great. That's okay. There's a nice testimony from Lewis. He made one day, he, he did this Amazon. He made $63,000 in 10 minutes. He did the class years ago, years and years ago. And, uh, and this is a nice testimonial from Steve. So all in all, if you're interested, if you have questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, email me. I hope this lecture was informative. Have a great day, everyone.